सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सर टूडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ एनदर इंपोर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल एंड पावर प्लांट डिजाइन सर एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल वॉज वन स्टॉक इन सिक्सटीन स्प्रिंग एंड फिफ्टीन स्प्रिंग एंड हेयर यू कैन सी इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल द मैक्सिम डिमांड ऑफ अ पावर स्टेशन इज गिवन एज टू हंड्रेड मेगा वाट एंड द लोड फैक्टर इज गिवन एज हेयर फिफ्टी परसेंट एज एंड दिस डिमांड इज टू बी मेड बाई आई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैथड्स द फर्स्ट वन इज अ स्टीम पावर प्लांट ऑफ सफिशेंट कैपेसिटी टू मीट द होल लोड एंड द सेकेंड वन हेर वी हैव द हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट ऑफ सफिशेंट कैपेसिटी टू मीट द होल लोड एंड द थर्ड वन इज अ न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट ऑफ सफिशेंट कैपेसिटी टू मीट द होल लोड एंड द फोर्थ वन इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्टीम एंड हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट सो द फर्स्ट द फोर्थ वन इज द कॉम्बिनेशन स्टीम एंड हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट एंड हेयर द हाइड्रो स्टेशन कैन सप्लाई द टोटल यूनिट ऑफ वन सेवन फाइव इंटू टेन पावर सिक्स यूनिट पर ईयर एंड विथ अ मैक्सिमम आउटपुट ऑफ सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा वाट एंड इन दिस न्यूमेरिकल यू हैव टू इस्टिमेट द टोटल कॉस्ट टू जनरेट वन यूनिट इन इस केस एंड इंडिकेट विच ऑल्टरनेटिव इज मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल सर सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन सर एंड दिज आर द डाटा गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन सर and these are items means capital cost per kilowatt for steam power plant nuclear power plant and hydro power plant is given sir so capital cost per kilowatt installed is given similarly interest and depreciation of capital cost for each power plant is given similarly operating cost per unit is given and the transmission cost per unit is also given for steam power plant nuclear power plant and hydro power plant so here the very first step we will do to calculate first we need to calculate the total number of units to be generated and supplied per year sir so the total number of units to be generated and supplied per year and that will be maximum demand into hours in a year into load factors so maximum demand is given as 200 megawatt so for uh, let's calculate this into kilowatt so for that 200 into 1000 it gives in kilowatt into hours in a year will be 8760 and the load factor is given as 0.5 in the equation sir so it will be 8760 into 10 power 6 unit and for steam power plant the fixed cost will be fixed cost per year will be this say 200 megawatt is given so 200 into 1000 into and here you can see for steam power plant for steam power plant the capital cost per kilowatt is given as 1600 similarly interest and depreciation of capital cost is given as 12 percentage here in this question so 200 into 1000 it gives in kilowatt and into 1600 is given in the equations and again interest and depreciation is given as 12 percentage so it will be 8384 384 into 10 power 5 and the total cost per unit will be and here the total cost will be the sum of fixed cost plus operating and maintenance and transmission cost and here the transmission cost is negligible but the operating cost per unit is given as 5 paisa so here the total cost will be 5 paisa plus 384 into 10 power 5 means 384 into 10 power 5 10 to the power 5 this means this is the fixed cost and this is given in the rupees and we have to calculate since the first one is in paisa so we have to calculate this second one into paisa again so in order to calculate this rupees into paisa we have to we have to multiply this with the 100 and and upon this total number it needs to be generated and supplied per years means here we have given 876 into 10 power 6 units So upon year seventy six into ten power six, so you will get here nine point four paisa here. Similarly, for nuclear power plant, fixed cost per year per year will be two hundred megawatt given. So we have to calculate in kilowatt. So two hundred into a thousand, and into again for nuclear power plant, the capital cost per kilowatt for nuclear power plant is given as two twenty seven hundred, and the interest and depreciation cost is given as ten percent as. So. Fixed cost will be two hundred into thousand into twenty seven into ten percent. So you will get here fifty four into ten power six. And the total cost per unit will be the sum of operating cost plus fixed cost. So here we have given the operating cost again as four paisa, and the fixed cost we have just obtained. So fixed cost will be means four paisa plus this is in rupees again. So we have to calculate in paisa. So multiply this with the hundred upon total units to be generated per year given as. Just we have calculated in the first step as 876 into 10 power 6, and this is the total number we need to be generated and supplied per year. So divide it by 876 into 10 power 6, we will get here 10.15 paisa. And again, for hydro power plant, the fixed cost per is given as 200 into 1000. So 200 megawatt given. So 200 into 1000 gives in kilowatt. And again, 
for capital cost per uh, here you can see the capital cost per kilowatt for hydro is again given as 2100 and the interest and depreciation of capital cost is given as 10 percent for a hydro power plant so for hydro power plant we can see 200 into 1000 into 2110 percent is will get here 42 into 10 power 6 and the total cost per unit will be now you can see here for hydro power plant for hydro power plant this is for hydro power plant the data given and here we can see the operating cost per unit is given as 1 paisa similarly the transmission cost per unit is given as 0 0.27 paisa so it will be 1 plus 0 0.27 plus a uh, running cost means uh, sorry fixed cost so it will be 1 plus 0 0.27 plus this fixed cost per year means fixed cost is 42 into 10 power 6 since this is in again paisa and this is also in paisa and right now this is in rupees so multiply this with 100 to get in paisa so 42 into 10 power 6 into 100 upon 876 into 10 power 6 so we'll get here 6.07 paisa and now we can see so let's see the question once more here we have obtained for first case similarly we have done for second case and also we have done for third case now in the fourth we have said uh, uh, here we can see a combination of steam and hydro power plant and the hydro can supply 176 175 in 10 power 6 units means the hydro station can supply 175 in 10 power 6 units per year and with a maximum outward 75 megawatt is given and this is the combination for steam and hydro so we can see So the unit supplied by hydro station is given as 175 into 10 power 6 and so units to be supplied by steam by steam station so the steam station will be means the units to be supplied by steam station will be 876 into 175 since we have to calculate in the first step as here you can see total number of units to be generated and supplied for here is given as 876 into 10 power 6 and means unit supply by hydro station is only given as 175 in 10 power 6 and for and the remaining will be for steam stations so for steam station it will be 876 minus 175 so we will get here 701 in 10 power 6 units similarly the installed capacity for hydro station is given as 75 megawatt but the overall means the total is given as 200 so for steam it will be 200 minus 75 so it will be 125 megawatt now fixed cost per year for a, for hydro station since for hydro station it is the demand is going to 75 megawatt so 75 in 1000 we will get in kilowatt into again for hydro for hydro stations in the above table we have given the capital cost per kilowatt as 2100 and again interest and depreciation was, was given as 10 percentage so once we calculate we will get here 1575 in 10 power 4 and fixed cost per year for steam again 125 here we have obtained 15 megawatt so 125 in 1000 and cost means capital cost per kilowatt it was a 16 means 1600 given and again the interest and depreciation charge was given a 12 percentage on capital cost so we will get here 2400 into 10 power 4 now we have to calculate the running cost for hydro for hydro stations since here we can see The unit supplied by hydro station is 175 in 10 power 6. So for running cost, it will be 175 in 10 power 6 into 1 plus 0.27. And here for hydro station, the operating cost, here you can see in the table. That this is the table and this is the column for hydro power plant. And in this column, you can see the operating cost per unit is given as here 1 paisa similarly for transmission cost per unit is given as 0 0.27 paisa given so 175 in 10 power 6 and this is in paisa 
and if you divide it by 100 you will get in rupees so you get a 2 to 2 into 10 power 5, 10 to the power 4 rupees running cost so the running cost for hydro station is rs 222 into 10 power 4 similarly for running cost for steam it will be 701 into 10 power 6 into 5 upon 100 and here the units for a steam is here units to be supplied steam is 701 into 10 power 6 So 10 power 6 upon 5 upon 100 will get here 3505 into 10 power 4. So from this we can conclude that here you can see the running cost for hydro station is 222 into 10 power 4 and for running cost for steam station is 3505. So the running cost for hydro station is lesser in comparison to steam. So we conclude that the hydro power is most economical here. Now the total running cost will be the total learning cost will be the sum of this and this. So you will get here 3727 into 10 power 4. And the total cost per year will be fixed cost plus total learning cost. And the total learning cost is this value. And the fixed cost will be means this value. Fixed cost for hydro station and similar for steam is given as this. means the sum of this and this. So, the total cost will be the sum of fixed cost plus total learning cost. So, you will get here 7702 into 10 power 4. So, the total cost per unit will be 7702 into 10 power 4 upon 876 into 10 power 6 into 100. So, you will get here 8.78 paisa. So, in this way, you can calculate source type of numericals. Hope you enjoy the lectures. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.